in this part we'll go through how to update accreditation scope at our software see you can see this is a sample accreditation scope of a laboratory we can see here the name of lab then there is a certificate number of accreditation body and there is a validity of accreditation body and parameter wise our uncertainties are there now in our software right what we'll do we'll go to the certification we'll go to the accreditation scope we'll select the accreditation body this is example NABL we'll enter the certificate number which is issued by the accreditation body we'll enter the issue date we'll enter the valid until that is your due date or end date of the certificate once you saved it you can see the one entry which is present here now if this is the first step in next step what we'll do we'll go to the add details okay then there is a form we'll come back to the our scope now see let's example this is a dc current what i will do i have a range 1 milliampere to 20 milliampere and this is my cmc 0.13% to 0.11% using direct multimeter using digital multimeter by direct method now this multimeter has some resolution let's example this multimeter having a resolution of 0 0.0001 milliampere for this range so that range is given 1 milliampere to 24 milliamperes so how i will enter this entry at our application so here we'll enter 1 milliampere to 1 milliampere less count will keep blank as it is not applicable in this case then frequency is not applicable we'll leave it then uncertainty is 0.13 percentage RDG, right? So I will select these and I'll save it. And again, I will add one more entry for same parameter and same range. That is now you see this is still 24 milliampere. So one point I'll take a resolution of masters, okay, to 24 milliampere okay then again i will leave the um, uh, least count and frequency and that is my 0, 0.0 percentage rdg so this is the one case here we'll add up the scope some another cases see this is this can you can end the same way this is also same way this is also same thing here you re return ohms you need to select a specific unit in this case and uh, so see this is the one more case which is a minus range and this range what I will do but uncertainty is given in single digit so there is a no requirement of splitting the range in this case but this is electrotechnical temperature simulation so see how I will see this is a temperature simulation then I will take uh, the parameter <coughs> Uh, let's see for which parameter this scope is given calibration of temperature it is a K type so I will select the K type again this is a lab site and both so in that so what I will do I will copy and I will paste it here so if I uh, have a K type here and here also this is a source this is uh, again source this is a major mode see this is a uh, minus 100 to 7 3 1372 degree and this is minus 100 to this is a site facility and this is a lab facility so this is not for site if it is not for site i have verified it is not for the site it is only for the lab then I'll select the lab, then I'll select the major mode and see this is a minus 100 to 137. So minus 100 to 137, sorry, 
this is my minus 100 degree centigrade to minus 1372 degree centigrade I have selected then this is my uncertainty what is my uncertainty is given 0.31 degree centigrade so 0 0.31 I'll select degree centigrade so this is one more case which I have shown you then uh, we'll see the different cases again uh, let's example uh, AC is not here in AC case right uh, maybe frequency is applicable then uh, we'll go say this is the same same scope same type of range and add up the same way this is also same this is also the case which I have shown you for the DC current so similarly we can enter there then this is a bar this is also same cases you can enter there here you don't require to split the ranges All right Ah, see now in this case 10 ml uh, the range is given for volume 10 ml and scope is given 0 0.018 ml so in this case what we'll do the least count is more important the least count is given right so using digital balance up to 80 gram or 200 gram this is a least count of balances given and this is a volume so in this case what I will do I will select the mechanical I will select the volume then I will select the parameter class pipettes this is a uh, given parameter in the accreditation body then this is a facility for lab side will select accordingly this is a major source is not applicable in this case so I'll select the not applicable then range is a 10 ml so what I will do I will enter 0 ml to 10 ml and my uncertainty is what 0 0.018 0 0.018 0 ml so this is the my way to update this case in this case so now this is again same cases you can add up accordingly now you can see the units are different the cases are same for the volumes then the parameters also may different we'll see some another cases like uh, weights now this is a weights this is a weights so in the weight there is a different method we have to be use it now see this is a weights f1 class and coarser 1 mg having a disco so in this case what we'll do here we'll select the mechanical then weights then f1 lab source major not applicable then 1 mg to 1 mg right this is a 1 mg weight so weight don't have range it has a specific value so we'll enter 1 mg to 1 mg right then there is a no list count and the whatever the uncertainty it is given 0 0.009 mg 0 0.009 mg will enter there right and we'll save it once we save it right this will be appear accordingly so this is 1 mg to 1 mg having a this cmc now again you can see this is a 10 mg this is a 1 mg this is a 10 gram so you enter the same way as we entered 1 mg now again we'll move ahead some another cases which we can face the issues to add up this is a weight case yeah in dimension there is a one important uh, we can see in the uh, balances this is again the same case which we send for the DC current that is uh, in the range we will split the range and we'll enter the scope then there is the same cases are here when we move ahead see this is a site facility scope which we are able to see and uh, 
see this is the electronic weighing balance now electronic weighing balance and the dimension the both are more or less same where the accreditation scope validity is based on the list count okay so we'll see this example how to enter now see i'll select the mechanical then i'll select the wet weighing balance then electronic weighing balance lab site whatever will select it source measure will select it then see the range 1 mg to 80 mg 80 gram right so 1 mg sorry 1 mg to 80 gram is my range list count is 0.01 mg so i will enter 0.01 mg then frequency is not applicable and what is my uncertainty 0.01 mg right 0.01 mg then i will save it so what will happen because of this list count software will validate this list count those weighing balance are more accurate or having a precise list count then 0 0.01 then accreditation scope will not be applicable for those weighing balances or those units under calibrations so we cannot issue the certificate those having precise list count comparative to this 0.01 or whatever the list count we have issued and we have it in our laboratory capacity this is the case then we'll move ahead uh, see and uh, this is again one more entry we have given so what i will do 80 gram to 200 grams right so my range will be entered 80 gram to 200 grams having 0.1 mg is the list count and 0.1 mg is my uncertainty so 0 0.1 mg is my uncertainty so i'll enter accordingly okay i'll select the parameter and i'll save it so i have two entries 1 mg to 80 gram having this list count 80 gram to 200 gram this is incorrect in it we'll correct it <coughs> and yeah 80 gram to 200 gram having this list count so the, in this case list count will be validated by the software uh okay then next uh, we'll move ahead then there is the same cases you can i will i already explained it so yes but always completed uh there is no uh, any example we found uh, for the ac currents uh, but yes obviously ac current having a is alternative current having a frequencies so in that case i'll show you one example right so electro technical is you can select it you can select the groups you can select the parameters the whole methodology is same only the case is what in ac if frequency is there then you have to be enter the frequency if only 50 is given then enter 50 to 50 hertz if you have a range 50 to uh, 100 hertz then 100 hertz right so accordingly software will take care of the scope validation after calculated uncertainty comparison for the uncertainty comparison of UC. so yeah but obviously thanks this is about the how to update or how to enter the nabl scope or accreditation scope of any accreditation body nothing else thank you